special announcement that because of the absence of collective bargaining and an attempt on the part of the of the government, the Ministry of Education, to address the conditions under which teachers work, especially as it relates to salaries, we are here to announce that on Thursday, from Thursday, May the 9th, the strike action will resume and work to have the matter before us amicably resolved. And this will not be resolved through just talks. It will be resolved through the active signing of the multi-year agreement having come up with the areas that we would agree on. The union is now taking the decisive step that the strike action will issue. I hope that um, for the sake of our children and the sake of all educators that we have this matter resolved. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Would have given, uh, would have consulted its members on the next step. And in fact, I'm on record as saying on, uh, several weeks ago that the General Council would have given as its number one step to have strike action resumed. So here we are making an official announcement that because of the absence of collective bargaining and an attempt on the part of the, of the government, the Ministry of Education, to address the conditions under which teachers work, especially as it relates to salaries, we are here to announce that on Thursday, from Thursday, May the 9th, the strike action will resume in all education districts all across Guyana. And uh, we have officially informed the Ministry of Education through the uh, permanent secretary. It has been brought to the attention of the Minister of Education, Honorable Priya Chan, and the Minister of Labor, Honorable Joseph Hamilton. We've also copied our correspondence to the Chief Labor Officer, the Chief Education Officer. We've copied our our letter to the ILO, the National Labor Organization, the Caribbean Union of Teachers, and Education International. We hope that, as we have indicated in our missive, that the Ministry of Education, who now has the authority to negotiate should should in the interest of our learners and the education sector in Guyana work to have the matter before us amicably resolved and this will not be resolved through just talks it will be resolved through the active signing of the multi-year agreement having come up with the areas that we will agree on the union is now taking the decisive step that the strike action will issue. I hope that um, for the sake of our children and the sake of all educators that we have this matter resolved and we hereby call on all our members irrespective of your race, your color, your political persuasion irrespective of your region and your your economic status to support the call at this moment so that the government can address the needs of teachers they are finding it extremely difficult to survive on the present salary given the constant rise in cost of living and so i'm just making this statement just to reiterate that come May the 9th, which is Thursday of this week, all teachers across the length and breadth of Guyana will resume strike action. And as the union president, I call on the overwhelming support of our members. Now knowing that our cause is just as indicated, as indicated by the court, and that we can take this decision and ask the government and 
who have been showing a level of reluctance to make us at the table and to negotiate in good faith. So that's the statement I want to make. At this time, we will field some questions. Um, you may raise your hand and ask questions um, if you so desire. So over now to Sister Coretta McDonald, who will um, allow you to ask your questions. And I have the entire officer corps on the call here and in this conference. And if there is anything specific that they need to answer as well, we will do so. Sister McDonald? Yeah, no. All right, um, Sister McDonald, um, just so I see the hand. Coretta, can you? I'm not seeing you on the call here. You're using Marissa's um, instrument? Yes, loud and clear. Hi, Dr. Light, uh, good afternoon to you on the panel and um, others listening. Um, just in the event that I missed the um, opening of the press release, I would like to ask in terms of your position as president of the union, the blatant disrespect by the PPP regime at their Congress, just concluded Congress or about to be concluded, uh, about the teacher's strike. It is. Yep. Yep. Sorry about that. So that's my question as it pertains to the disrespect of teachers um, by the PPP Congress, and especially laughing and clapping by uh, Mr. Irfan Ali and Mr. Barajagio and others here. How do you feel? And what sort of disrespect is that to the teachers? Thank you. educators in Guyana felt really saddened by what we saw, uh, the skit that was facilitated at, at that particular event, where it seems as though the teachers issue was one whereby it was mockingly done. I believe this has further agitated our members and the leadership of the union that for 30 days, 29 days, we have been on the picket line, on strike. Um, we come away with no increase in salary. And to have a skit at that forum, which I believe we've seen clippings of, um, unacceptable. Um, it is a situation where it was insensitive to the present plight of the educators who have been demanding pleading for a salary increase and so it amounts to gross disrespect uh, meted out to all educators whether past present or future educators who put their lives on the line to make our children um, learn and to facilitate the whole education process right so i think that um, teachers are hurting because of that and i believe what would what seen as it's out there um, what would be appropriate at this time is for there to be a resounding apology because in no way we should make the struggles of anyone else a laughing matter. The teacher's issue is a very serious matter and must be treated seriously. So that is what I would say pertaining to that mark. One love, Delta 9 family, like up the video. Like up the video so that everybody could see this. Like up the video because every Guyanese needs to know. Every Guyanese needs to know what's going on. Like up this video so that everybody in the diaspora could see what's going on right here and right now. This is very, very, very important. Why it's very important? Because an educated populace is the most important thing in any country. And Guyana does not have a fully functional educational system comes thursday again once more the teachers are about to strike once more and the teachers are saying we had enough we cannot survive on this money that we're being paid and we are taken to the streets so guess what 
his slippers on the ground all again and look 29 days is already gone out of the educational system and they can't get them 29 days back for this year and now they're about to add more days because guess what the government just refused to bargain with them on the things that they want to bargain on when it comes down to the money and the pay that they want to be paid come on they're saying that look we want to be considered from this 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 year they're saying hey we only using this year and we ain't doing nothing else and that's that seems to be the stalemate that seems to be the conversation that's not being had and until that conversation is had guess what guyana's children and eventually the populace of guyana will suffer from lack of a fully functional educational system it might end up being almost 60 or more days that who knows how that's going to impact people who knows how many youths are looking at this and saying, but guess what? They ain't care about education. Education is not important. Look at it treating the teachers. Or guess how many youths might be looking at this and saying, hey, but I got to find some other place for live because I can't believe that if I wanted to be a teacher, there's all these street teachers over here. So you're finding a lot of educated people and a lot of persons who don't want to experience those type of things gonna now start to look for different parts of the world to go and live and i could tell you them situations there where you have a lot of brain drain in the country is another thing that keeps guyana in the way that it is we need to like up this video and promote it in the algorithm so that every person every person that this will affect which is everybody that is affiliated with guyana they need to know what's going on they need to know so like this and promote it, share it so that everyone could know that come Thursday, slippers on the ground and they ain't backing down, they ain't backing down this time until they get their money, until they get their money, they ain't coming off the road, they ain't want to hear nothing else other than money pay and then they stop in this time. So who knows how far this is going to go. One love and I'll catch you in the next flight. Do remember to hit that subscription button so that you can stay updated with everything that's going on with the teacher strike in Guyana. 100% wild crafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? Got it that um, I guess I really, really did upset the first lady and the president of Guyana when I made those posts about all his side chicks and all the dirt that he be doing.